Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to go over how to brand your videos. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. If you're a business owner, marketer, or entrepreneur, it's important to understand that video marketing is a popular, effective way to market your brand. With today's technology, creating videos has never been easier. Today, we'll go over the best techniques for branding your doodly whiteboard videos so that people remember who you are and what you stand for. A brand includes tangible and intangible elements, such as visual design elements. So that's your logo, your color scheme, fonts, images, and tagline. It also includes distinctive features of your product, such as quality of it and the intangible aspects of customers' experiences with the product or company, such as a good reputation. The first thing we wanna do is deal with the logo. So you wanna make sure your logo and company name are both visible. In many cases, you want the branding visible at all times. In others, you may want it at the beginning and then again at the end. You can also creatively place your logo within scenes like so. So here's how to upload your logo. Click on props, the blue plus sign, and browse for your logo. Once you have your logo inside Doodle, it's smart to add your own custom drawing paths or set it up so that it fades in rather than scribbles in like the default. Here's how to do it. For persistent branding, which is when the logo shows throughout the entire video, I like to use a custom background. Here's how to upload a custom background. We did a watermarking video on this technique earlier, so be sure to check that out for further details. And you'll notice that the logo stays in place throughout all of the scenes. And even when the scene transitions and swipes away, that logo remains. Next, be sure to include your brand's color scheme. For example, if your colors are white and teal, using teal colored fonts would be a great way to keep the branding alive. If you know your color's hex code, here's how to enter it for an exact match. Now, if you don't know it, there are several tools online that will figure it out for you. For example, I uploaded Doodly's logo to imagecolorpicker.com and I was able to get the code in a matter of seconds. The code is 0474BC. Likewise, you may want to use the same fonts that your brand uses elsewhere, such as on your website or in brochures. This will be a stylistic choice though, since the hand writes the text. It may make more sense to stick to a handwriting type font, but you know, you might wanna choose one that fits in with your brand style. For example, a financial institution wouldn't likely use a frilly font with lots of swirls like this one. It may be appropriate to use a script-like font for an institution that's all about being classy but it probably wouldn't work well with a company whose main focus is on being edgy or hipster. A company that touts themselves as being for the people might not want to use an ornate font or a super formal style. Similarly, the hand that you choose should fit in with the overall look and feel of your brand. Some hands look more business-like than others. Finally, consider your brand promise and make sure your video has a tone that is aligned with it. And that's the basics of branding your videos. Thanks for watching.